crown God the rich man brought to claim He fell consciously day by day He said I have no place to restore my good And one day we hear the rich man say I'll do greater I'll take to my soul Take my knee Then time to talk to God and glory Tonight my soul to fall
hope in that name. Praise God. Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord Jesus, and we ask you to give us this day our daily bread, which we so much need, Lord. God of Israel, we ask you to look those in the sick and afflicted, Lord, those that cannot attend the service, Lord. God, cause maybe some sickness, Lord. God, we ask you to increase their faith, Lord God, that you're able to deliver them from any sickness or ailment, Lord. God, we know that it's not your will that any should perish, Lord, that we all should come to repentance and realize that we ourselves are one-time sinners, Lord, that we should clean out ourselves by your Spirit which you give us, Lord. And God, we're asking you to be with us, Lord. God bless those that hear this broadcast, Lord. God, we ask you to open the eyes and the ears of the people that they may receive the Word of God, Lord, that they may understand to come to the perfection that you so desired in your Word, that you so much tried to teach your people on the earth, Lord. God, we ask you to lead us and guide us into all perfection and all truth, Lord. God, let us not be satisfied by just going around Jordan River, Lord, or going around the mountain, Lord, rather, but God, give us this courage, Lord, to go on to perfection, Lord. For this is the will of God in your word, Father, and we ask you, Lord, to teach us thy precepts and thy laws. Lord, that we have it hid in our hearts, have it written in our hearts, and that we may be hid in God. Lord, we ask you to bless us, Lord, with our anointing, Lord. God, we ask you for the Holy Ghost to anoint on this word of truth. God, we ask you to bless the listeners, Lord, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise God. We're going to try a little song. We're not, like I say, we're not singers. We don't claim to be singers, but I believe in singing songs and giving praise to my God because it's written in the Word of God. Praise God. We're going to try a little song and try house of gold. And I tell you, what is your trust? What is your hope in this world? I tell you, it's rather, I'd rather to have Jesus Christ and die and be buried in a grave and have my soul saved than to live in the man biggest mansion on the face of this earth and miss out with God. Praise the Lord. I'm 
God, and that's the truth. That's the truth. You may have your wealth, you may have your riches, but if you have not got Jesus Christ going to your soul, my friend, I ask you to hear the Word of God this day. Don't take it just because that we're ministering on air, but just take the Scriptures. I ask the people of God, the people in the radio listening area, to open the Bible when someone comes on the air and go along with them in the Scriptures. My friend, I ask you to open the Scriptures now to the Psalms, number 22, Psalm 22. The Lord willing will minister the Word of God if it be His will. Praise God, for we can do nothing without Him. And without the anointing of the Holy Ghost, friends, I'll be just a speaker this day. But by the anointing of my Father, the Holy Ghost that dwells within me, I appreciate God for giving me the Holy Ghost one day, a sinner that was called out by His grace, that looked down upon my life and looked upon a soul, a drug addict, so to speak. It, it seemed like there was nothing in this world. It seemed like I was looking up at the bottom. But praise God, friend, when I bowed my knee to Jesus Christ, praise God, one week, one week after I repented of my sins, I was at a brother's house, Brother Roger Burris' house. There wasn't in no church, my friend, but I was at praying earnest to God. And I believe the Scriptures, and when you believe, the Scriptures will come alive in your heart and your life. And I believe the Scriptures that I maybe heard in my past or as I read, and I know the Holy Ghost is real. I know it was for me if I really wanted it. But before the cures of this life seemed like he choked it out on me. I didn't want to go to church. I didn't want to worship God. But friend, when I come to my realization that I'm nothing without God, and neither are you nothing without God, but friend, when I called upon the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost entered my body, praise God, and I can tell you as a living witness that Jesus is real, that he, God, has raised Jesus of Nazareth from the dead, as the Scripture has said. Praise God, and I ask you, friend, to earn it. Consider your soul today. Consider the Word of God. And consider living a life for Jesus. Praise God. Let us read the Psalms number 22. David was speaking in prophecy of the Son of God, of the Messiah, the Christ, the one that was to come. And it says, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words in my mouth? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime. But thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake their head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he, but thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, and is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and they stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. Be not, but be not thou far from me, O Lord, O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. For thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Let us read also Matthew 27, verse 35. And they crucified him, speaking Jesus of Nazareth, and part of his garments casting across that he might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. 
and sit him down, they washed him there and set him up over his head, his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself, if thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests, mocking him, and the scribes and the elders said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his teeth. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon this word. Father, we ask you, Jesus, by the power of your Spirit, Lord. God, we ask you to arise, Lord, and speak the words, Lord, that you would desire us to speak, Lord. Give to us that we may give to the people. Father, we ask you for this anointing, Lord, not for our own will, Lord, but for the will of God, Lord, that the people may understand more about the Son and His Father. Lord, we ask you, Jesus, for the anointing upon this word of truth this day. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, Lord, be it so. Amen. Praise God. And friends, you know, as reading these scriptures and Psalms spoke about Jesus Christ, the Son of God that was to come. These things were spoken of in the scriptures and foretelling about the things that will happen to him. And the little thought I would have today is, where is your trust? What is your trust in upon this life? You know, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God, according to Apostle Peter. You know, he is a man, a human being with a soul and a mind, and a, and a mind of his own as a human being. This is why that when he prayed in the garden, he said, Not my will, but thine be done. A literal human being that God had created, a prophet whom God had raised up and put his spirit in him. And friends, the Son of God barely had feelings like you would have a feeling. And just as he was down on the cross and being crucified, there was many those that reviled him and wagged their heads as they went by, mocking him, mocking him and scorning him and, and, and blaspheming in many different points and making fun of what this man had done. You know, in some way the scripture read, you know, he wasn't coming to look upon, but you know, there's something about this man. There's something about this man that came to preach righteousness to a people of the, on the earth of Israel. To come to tell them about the real way of God. To come to tell them about the very life that God would have his people to live in the flesh. Uh, and Jesus, when he came to this world, he barely spoke God's words as the scripture has said. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 18 and 18 that God told Moses that I'm going to raise me up a prophet like you, Moses. And he said, Moses, I'm going to put my spirit in him, I'm going to put my words in his mouth, and the word that he speaks, I've commanded him. Jesus said, St. John 12 and 49, I speak not of myself. Every word Jesus spoke, he was speaking God's words. He was speaking the words of our Lord Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, who spoke God's words to this world that was lost and dying without salvation. And friends, just as all, he sent his whole, he gave his whole self unto God. When he would come baptized with John there, when he was baptized of John there, he actually delivered his body up to God as a living sacrifice. When he came there, he surrendered all of himself, and when he was baptized to fulfill the righteousness that it must be. He fulfilled himself and gave his whole self unto God. And the Bible says in one place that know ye not that you're not your own, yet you are the temple of the living God. The Holy Ghost that dwells therein is not yours, but it belongs unto God. Jesus Christ did not come to seek his own glory. Jesus of Nazareth did not come to seek to glorify himself. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1, I believe in verse 3, it says he inherited a name above all names. A person that inherits something must get it from something else or someone else. Uh, this is why I say, as the Apostle Paul said, this is why I preach as the Apostle Peter preached. This is why I preach as Jesus spoke the word of God that he truly is the son of the living God. Uh, and friends, you need to awaken yourself exactly why that he was the son of God. You need to awaken yourself and understand how that God was manifested in the flesh. Uh, that it's more than just saying that he was God because this is an error. For the Bible says that he is the son of the living God. If you open your eyes and see the scriptures as the apostle Paul spoke it, uh, that Jesus of Nazareth was a man, a proof of God, a human being with a soul, with a feeling, with a mind, uh, that had temptations in all parts like you and I are tempted every day. Uh, 
But you see, there's one thing. The Bible says in James 1 and 13, God cannot be tempted. But you see, Jesus of Nazareth is tempted. Uh, he was tempted in all parts like you and me were. Uh, and praise God. And my friends, I'd like to ask you, where is your trust? Jesus of Christ of Nazareth had his trust in the Spirit of God. He had his trust in his Holy Father that dwelt within him. Uh, and praise God, friends, I find, I find this man Jesus speaking the words of God, not fearing the people, uh, because we feared the people, the first in religious orders in that day. Uh, he could not have done the full will of God on the earth, but he came to do the will of God. Uh, he didn't come to please man. He didn't come to satisfy man's ears. Uh, but he came to fulfill God's word and God's righteousness and manifest God's life in the flesh. Uh, he came and spoke to the people and said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, the life. Uh, he's telling the people, look, there's no other way you're going to stand before God and be justified uh, except you become as perfect uh, as the Son of God, except that you understand this gospel and receive this gospel, uh, except you believe that Jesus of Nazareth has died and gave his only blood there. Uh, and I know many would say that in Jackson, believe in the book of Acts, it says that God gave his own blood. Uh, it's just as I said that he was the temple of the Holy Ghost, and you're not your own once God has brought you. Uh, you're not your own, but you belong to the Lord God of Israel. Uh, and what's mine is thine, as Jesus said. And when Jesus bled the blood of God on the cross at Calvary, uh, his body belonged to the Lord God of Israel. It was not his own. Neither are you your own. Uh, if the people of God could awaken themselves in the eye that we are now, friend, and realize uh, that even though you may breathe, you may have the power to go and do this and that. Uh, you may have the power to hold jobs and do things in this world, uh, but realize once that God of Israel has bought you, uh, once that you realize that you receive the Holy Ghost, that you're seeking your God, and that you're no more your own. Uh, Paul said to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, praise God, uh, holy unto the Lord God. You see, this is your reasonable service for you a sinner one time as I was. Uh, praise God, but the angels at one time, Lucifer, did not find no place to repent after he sinned. Uh, but I find that people on this earth that you have a chance to repent of your sins. Uh, you have a chance to receive the power of God within you. Uh, you have a chance. Jesus said, once you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power. Uh, why do you receive the Holy Ghost? You receive it to correct yourself. Uh, you receive it to bring yourself under subjection to that spirit. Uh, Bible says that Jesus of Nazareth brought our obedience by the things that he suffered. Uh, he brought himself under subjection to the Spirit of God that dwelt within him. Uh, I found a man of Nazareth very many times. No doubt his own family rejected him. Uh, no doubt some of his own brethren there rejected him. Those in Nazareth rejected him. Uh, they did not want to believe this was the real Christ, that actually he was living a God life on this earth. Uh, they didn't want to realize that he was manifesting the way of God to the people and the people must understand. Uh, they didn't want to realize this was the Messiah, the Son of the living God that was sent unto them to tell them about salvation. Uh, and friend, I tell you, I find reading here in the scriptures, praise God, uh, as all these scriptures were fulfilled concerning Jesus of Nazareth, that was many, that is how many times uh, I'm sure Jesus could have felt like I am so rejected. Uh, you know, the world rejected him there at the cross. There was none there that had favor with him. Uh, but those there had already turned their backs and walked away. Uh, and all the sheep of God at the time, even were scattered because of the fear. Uh, but friends, I tell you, Jesus was hanging on the cross, uh, a literal human being, the Son of the living God. Uh, praise the Lord, friends, he hung there. Uh, praise God, I'm sure he felt rejected uh, because even when the Holy Ghost had left his body, he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Uh, you see, his last hope was in God. His last hope was in the Spirit of his Father. Uh, true, he knows the Scriptures, but there was pain in that flesh. Uh, there was pain in his very mortal flesh. Uh, praise God, and when they grow the day up in, uh, when they hoisted him up and lifted him up, friend, uh, he knows those Scriptures must be fulfilled. Uh, but how lonesome it was at that time uh, for a man of God just to do what he done. Uh, to give his life for the people said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Uh, this man there had given himself unto God at the baptism. Uh, for three and a half years he preached God's word. Uh, he preached and declared the righteousness of 
God and brethren. Uh, praise God in one place before Jesus. Uh, praise God after that he was, he was resurrected. Uh, praise God he told one of them there. He said, touch me not for I'm not yet ascended into my father. Uh, but he said, you go tell my brethren. Uh, you tell my brother. You tell the apostle Paul. Uh, you tell Peter rather and all these other apostles that were with him. Uh, you tell them that I'm going to ascend into my father to your father. Uh, you tell them that I'm going to ascend into my God. Uh, Jesus called God his God. Uh, Jesus was a human being, a man approved of God, as Peter said. Uh, oh, friend, if you're going to awaken yourselves and get away from your formality uh, and realize why God manifests himself in the flesh, uh, Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, uh, Oh, for there is but one Lord God, uh, and there's one mediator, and one mediator, and that man, Christ Jesus. Uh, there's one man between us and God, that's the man, Christ Jesus. Uh, and as God dwells in that body, uh, that temple may not, he's not his own, but he's aware that he was a human. Uh, Jesus, the Son of God, is aware that he was a human being. Uh, but our fathers glorified him. Uh, our fathers raised him from the dead. Uh, our Father dwells in him. God is the head of Christ. Uh, and Christ is the head of this church. And all power is given to him. Uh, praise God. And our Father dwells in you, my spirit. Uh, praise God. The Holy Ghost is within you, my friend. Uh, you're no more your own. But my friend, I ask you, why are you putting your trust in? Uh, how many of you might have started for God and turned and went to the ways of the world uh, because many times it seemed uh, if God would open up something to you that many of your brothers would forsake you. Uh, I found where Jesus of Nazareth was forsaken. Uh, I find where he was cast down and shoved aside. Uh, I find where they walked by wagging their heads and mocking. Uh, oh my, I must have felt no flesh. It's humiliation, my friend. Uh, but I want to tell you the trust that he had in God. Uh, they mocked him and said he trusted in God. Uh, let him deliver him now if he would have him. Uh, if God would have him. Uh, they didn't know the scriptures that God said in Isaiah about chapter 53, I believe it was. Uh, it might be 55, but so what Isaiah there. Uh, it said it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Uh, it pleased our God to bruise, bruise the Son of God. Uh, for by his stripes that we are healed. Uh, by him giving himself unto God a holy sacrifice. Uh, the God of Israel looked upon mankind uh, with that longing mercy on my people to come unto me. Uh, if my people which are called in my name will humble themselves. Uh, he didn't say if my people which are called in my name will lift themselves up uh, and will try to boast themselves and if there's something. Uh, remember, friends, the things that were written before, uh, they were written by understanding. Uh, praise God, the Pharisees boasted themselves as the children of Abraham. Uh, they boasted themselves of what they were. Uh, and look, they were rejected. I find the scribes, uh, the elders of Israel, there, the chief priests. Uh, I find them even mocking and making fun of the Son of God. Uh, even they couldn't understand the scriptures because of their prideful ways. Uh, they didn't want to humble themselves down and realize uh, that the word of God was fulfilled as it is written. Uh, praise God, my friend, and understand this gospel uh, that God was in Christ Jesus, uh, the Son of God. God was in His Son, uh, reconciling the world Himself. Uh, praise God, there is one Lord God and one mediator between God and men, uh, and that is the man, Christ Jesus. Uh, that man is a human being. Uh, that man himself is not a God. Uh, he is a human being whom God dwells in. Uh, and friend, if you open your ears to this gospel, uh, you'll be more blessed of your Lord. Uh, if you open your eyes to see this gospel, uh, not only just on the foundation of baptism of the repentance, uh, thoughts and ladies, things of time go to perfection. Uh, Jesus said, no man can come to my Father except he come on me, uh, except you come the way of the Son of God. Uh, except Jesus said in one place, uh, he said, if they have rehired me, uh, they will hate you also. Uh, if they've cast you out, other words, they're going to cast you out. Uh, they're going to shove you aside and mock you. Uh, but friend, don't worry about it. Uh, who where is your trust? Uh, is your trust in your denomination? Uh, is your trust in your religious formality? Uh, my friend, Jesus said, the work I do, uh, you shall do also. Uh, if you believe in the word of God, uh, if you believe that God has raised Jesus from the dead, uh, if you go to that perfection and receive the Holy Ghost, uh, praise God, let your Father speak through you in the heavenly language of tongues. Uh, this is a gift of the Spirit of God. It gives to his people. Uh, the Holy Ghost is the reality of God. Uh, it's more than just a tongue witness. Uh, it's more than speaking in tongues. That's where you communicate by the Spirit of God. Uh, through this prior, prior understanding, Paul said, uh, and sometimes I pray through the Spirit. Uh, what God is what it is, but when you pray, you make that intercession to God. Uh, you make the holy talk with your Lord God of Israel. Uh, you make yourself known to Him and come to Him. Uh, you come to Him humbly, not in a prideful manner, uh, and say, Lord, look what I am. Uh, that was a fact. See what 
time boasting himself there uh, and said, I thank my God. Uh, I'm not like that Republican. I'm Republican over yonder. Uh, I thank my God I'm not this and not that. Uh, but friend, a sinner still before God. Uh, and he smote his friends and looked down to the earth. Uh, praise God, he felt such a shame uh, because he realized he was a sinner. Uh, he didn't lift himself up by a denomination. Uh, but he said, oh my God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Uh, and the Bible said, Jesus said, uh, that this sinner went home uh, for justified and that religion is dead. Uh, and friend, awaken yourselves if you be the children of God. Uh, come to the understanding of Jesus Christ. Uh, come to the understanding that you're not your own uh, and that your very body belongs to God. Uh, let him manifest his life through you. Uh, this is God's will on this earth. Uh, this is God's will for his people. Uh, and Bible said, Jesus said in Luke 8, 14, uh, speaking about the word of parable that was given, uh, praise God, he told about the stony ground or something fell among thorns. Uh, he was telling to say that that which fell among thorns or they, uh, that these people in the world, uh, it says that which fell among the thorns or they, which would they hear the word uh, or have heard they go forth and are choked with cares uh, and the riches and pleasures of this life uh, and they bring no fruit to perfection. Uh, Jesus said, be ye perfect as your Father which is in heaven. Uh, my friend, can't you realize uh, that every scripture is just as powerful as another scripture uh, there's many who go around preaching all oh, Matthew 28, 19. Uh, there's some who go to Acts 2 and 4. Uh, there's some who go to Acts 2 38. Uh, but they don't even understand how God was manifested in the flesh. Uh, they don't try to seek out God. Uh, they're busy going around to the cares of this world. Uh, going to the parties. Going to the lake. Uh, feeling their own pleasure in this flesh. Uh, and not caring about their soul. Uh, not seeking out the will of God. Uh, that God is one of your body. Uh, God is wanting you to present yourself a living sacrifice. Uh, that the people of God, you may be a living word, uh, that you may become God manifest in the place by the word, uh, by the word that you speak of righteousness, uh, that your God belongs by the blood in you, uh, dwells in you by the Holy Ghost. Uh, praise God, if you're not your own to understand, where is your trust? Uh, where is your trust? Are you having it in your denomination? Uh, because you maybe can shout some time. Uh, don't worry about these things. He's part of the worship. Uh, it's shouting and worshiping God. Uh, but don't deceive your own selves. Uh, come for perfect is God, his desires. Uh, come perfect is the Son of God. Uh, he said he trusted in the Lord. Uh, praise God, he said he trusted in God. Uh, oh, let him deliver now as we will have him. Uh, for he said, I'm the Son of God. Uh, praise God, they might have mocked him. Uh, they might have kicked him around. Uh, praise God, but I found a time. Uh, praise God, that God raised that body from the dead. Uh, God raised Jesus from the dead, as Paul said. Uh, praise God, the Bible said when Paul was converted, uh, he preached that Jesus Christ Christ was the Son of God. Uh, he preached that Jesus was a human being, uh, that God dwelt in, uh, just as Apostle Peter did. Uh, praise God, friend, if you don't receive this gospel, uh, you may be marked for some false doctrine. Uh, you may be marked for some false church programs, uh, but let you understand uh, that it's a very fearful thing to fall in the hands of living God. Uh, if you're not up about your father's business, my friend, uh, what is your end result? Uh, if you're not trying to fulfill your will, uh, the will of God for you, uh, if you're not I try to fulfill yourself to him uh, and present your body to him. Uh, when you're baptized, but then forth, uh, or you give yourself to God uh, every minute that you wake. Uh, the Bible says, if any of you are buried, let him sing psalms. Uh, praise God. If any of you is buried, let him sing a psalm. Uh, let him sing it to the Lord. Uh, praise God. He's speaking God's words at all time. Uh, praise God. Jesus was showed at one time when Satan tempted him. Uh, he showed him the kingdoms of the world. Uh, I'm sure he showed him the United States and his full I'm sure Satan showed him Russia in his full glory. I'm sure he showed him the power these nations have. All the power of Satan said, I'll give to you these things if you'll bow and worship me, if thou be the Son of God. Praise God, but Jesus of Nazareth, I rebuke you, Satan. He said, get behind me. Praise God, for it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Praise God, Jesus could not tempt God by doing anything to my worship Satan. But the Son delivered his own self into God's spirit. He delivered himself up into the spirit of our God. Uh, praise God if Jesus of Nazareth had been glorified now. It might have been a shameful thing at that time to him. Uh, he might have felt like he was all alone uh, in the world at the crucifixion. Uh, he might have felt like there was no one on this earth that cares about me. Uh, it said that all gates are for me. 
Hallelujah. They looked upon me with their mouths. Uh, they stared at me, Jesus said, uh, as the song was written of him. Uh, all the people there mocked him, wagged their heads, uh, made all false body statements to him. Uh, he was their party. He was their joke at that time. Uh, but there was a time come when he was ready, ready, raised from the dead. Uh, he was raised from the dead now, stretched in the glorious hell and throne of his God. Uh, praise the Lord and Paul, do not say, uh, Jesus said in one place, if you'll overcome as I have overcome, uh, I'll make you pure in the temple of my God. Uh, if you overcome as I have overcome, uh, then also you are sat down with me in my Father's throne. Uh, praise God, friends, realize this gospel. Where's your trust? Uh, is it in this world, the riches? Uh, is it in your denomination? Uh, or is it in the real word of God? Uh, are you seeking your God out by fasting and praying? Uh, or are you just speaking some words of God uh, and then going out and living the life of the world? Uh, praise God, you'll separate yourself from this world if you be God's people. Uh, realize this, you're not going to be mocking God. You're not going to get by the Lord. Uh, you may deceive man, but you won't deceive God. Uh, he's going to stand with judgment there as the Son has been delivered for the judgment. Uh, praise God, my friend, if your time is gone, we'll deliver it now to us. Now it's in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.